Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is July 28th, 2023, and before we jump to things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our looser section off here today with Giant Tortoise, and this is a light version of the card from Arabian Nights, down 7.79% from $21.94 to $20.23 for its market price, and its average price is $14.50. Next up is Gandalf the White, and this is the showcase version of this card from the Lord of the Rings. It's down 7.95% from $15.09 to $13.89 for its market price, and its average price is $14.89. Last March of the Ents from the Lord of the Rings, this card is down 8.49% from $14.48 to $13.25 for its market price, and its average price is $14.91. Sar and the Dark Lord, and this is the showcase version of this card from the Lord of the Ring, down 9.41% from $10.95 to $9.92 for its market price, and its average price is $10.95. The One Ring, and this is the borderless version of this card from the Lord of the Rings, down 9.97% from $46.54 to $41.90 for its market price, and its average price is $47.80. Nazgul 335 from the Lord of the Rings, this card is down 10.60% from $13.77 to $12.31 for its market price, and its average price is $13.98. No Mercy from Urza's Legacy, this card is down 14.30% from $17.76 to $15.22 for its market price, and its average price is $18. Door of Destinies from Commander 2017, this card is down 16.29% from $11.36 to $9.51 for its market price, and its average price is $11.05. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Subtlety from Modern Horizons 2, this card is up 8.85% from $15.14 to $16.48 for its market price, and its average price is $19.58. The pre-release copy is sitting at $20 for its average price, the borderless copy is sitting at $19.90 for its market price, and its average price is $30.97. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in Living Index, Murktide Regent, Merfolk, Crashing Footfalls, and even Jeskai Control. It's being played a ton in the modern format currently, and remains one of the most popular cards in the format. And the next winner on our list today is an Eldrazi card from Rise of the Eldrazi, Spawn Sire of Ulmog, and this is one of the cards that was omitted from the Commander Masters Precon. It's up 17.86% from $6.55 to $7.72 for its market price, and its average price is $8.41. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format in decks like Causal like the Great Distortion, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, and also Emmercool the Promised End. And the next winner on our list today is another Eldrazi card that was omitted from the Commander Masters Precon. This is Kozilek Butcher of Truth, and this is the Double Masters 2022 copy, up 18.22% from $27.34 to $32.32 for its market price, and its average price is $32.40. The original copy from Rise of the Eldrazi sitting at $29.12 for its market price and its average price is $33.12 and the textured foil from Double Masters 2022 sitting at $72.28 for its market price and its average price is $81.62 and the borderless version from Double Masters 2022 sitting at $30.80 for its market price and its average price is $36.45. In the etched foil version of the card from Double Masters 2022 sitting at $28.83 for its market price and its average price is $33. In the Modern Masters 2015 copy sitting at $26 for its market price and its average price is $30.65. And the version on the list is sitting at $28.60 for its market price and its average price is $29.90. And the Ultimate Masters copy is sitting at $25.77 for its market price, and its average price is $31.41. And 
and the Ultimate Masters Box Hopper sitting at $50.71 for its market price and its average price is $56.92 and this card has been played a ton in the modern format in Mono Black Coffers decks, Mono Green Tron, as well as Eldrazi Tron, however it's also been played in the Legacy format in Mono Green Cloud Post decks. And the next winner here is Omnath. Locus of Creation from Zendikar Rising, this mythic is up 18.80% from $11.38 to $13.52 for its market price, and its average price is $13.11, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $20.57 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $11 for its market price, and its average price is $12.50, and the showcase copy is sitting at $11 for its market price, and its average price is $11.90. And the game day promo version of the card is sitting at $157.36 for its average price. And this card is being played a ton in the modern format in decks like 4 to 5 color Omnath, Glimpse Combo, as well as Elementals. It's being played in the Pioneer format in 5 color Fires of Invention and 5 color Midrange. And it's even being played in the Legacy format in Blue Zenith decks. And our final winner of the day is a common card from Lord of the Rings, it's Lorien Revealed. And this card has went up 693.55% from $0.31 cents to $2.46 for its market price, and its average price is $3.25. And it's actually quite a good card for its island cycling ability. For one mana, you can discard this card and search your library for an island card, reveal it and put it in your hand, and then shuffle your library. It's also not too bad because you can draw three cards for five mana. Maybe not the most powerful ability in formats like Legacy and Modern, However, it's doing really well in the Popper format right now in Demir Control, Jeskai, Ephemerate, and Cog 8s. And it's also being played in the Commander format in decks like Galadriel, Elven Queen, and also Lord of the Nazgul. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Chatterfang Squirrel General from Modern Horizons 2, this foil is up 13.65%. This foil is up 13.66% from $8.05 to $9.15 for its foil market price, and its average price is $29.91. An old frame foil here from Urza's Destiny Temporal Adept, and it's up 16.15% from $9.91 to $11.51 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.12. Zur the Enchanter from Cold Snap, this original foil is up 16.62% from $67.67 to $78.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $39.18. Fire Shrieker from Mirror in this foil is up 17.45% from $9.40 to $11.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $20.44. Watery Grave from Ravnica, this foil is up 19.92% from $187.32 to $224.63 for its foil market price, and its average price is $225. Sleeper Agent from 10th edition, this foil is up 21.54% from $11.19 to $13.60 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.28. Goblin Festival, another old frame foil from Urza's Destiny, this card is up 25% today from $20 to $25 for its foil market price, and its average price is $25.78. Sky Swallower here from Guild Pack, this foil is up 26.38% from $4.89 to $6.18 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.55. A 7th edition foil here, Season Marshall, up 30.42% from $6.74 to $8.79 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.98. Our final foil winner is another 7th edition foil, Patagia Golem, and it's up 32.51% from $8.46 to $11.21 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.14. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Also, likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again on Monday for my regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for my week's winner's edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care.
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.